what I'd like to do in this demo is to uh, go through the process for creating a forest trust. Forest trusts become uh, necessary or desirable as companies merge and you want to give users in one uh, forest access to resources in your forest or, or you need to give current users access to the forest of the new company. The first thing that needs to happen as in all of Active Directory is DNS has to be configured. In this case there is two ways that would that, that could do this easily. One is to create uh, stub zones to list the resources in the new domain. The second method and the one that I've chosen to do here is to do conditional forwarders. This is a wonderful opportunity to use, to use conditional forwarders. What we'll use, we have the two domains or two forests, Trust1 and Trust2. I'm currently in the Trust1 uh, domain. So I create a conditional forwarder to go to Trust2, which is at 192.168.5.150. I've configured a similar uh, conditional forwarder on the other forest on the other domain name server so that it can find the resources in the trust one forest. So in order to create the trust now that we have DNS configured we'll go to the Active Directory Domains and Trusts right click on the domain properties trusts new trust and go through the wizard. The first step is who do we want to establish the trust with and this is going to be with trust 2.ndx continue with the wizard an external trust or a forest trust. An external trust is a non-transitive trust between a domain and another domain so if we wanted to create a non-transitive trust between two, two domains outside the forest we would pick this one. In this case I'm going to create a forest trust and forest trusts is transited between the two forests. It's not transitive in the sense that if A trusts B and B trusts C then A trusts C. It's only transitive for the domains between within the two forests. So we'll select the forest trust and we're going to here we have the selection the opportunity to select a two-way trust, a one-way incoming or a one-way outgoing trust. We're going to pick a two-way trust because we're going to have both an incoming and an outgoing trust for this forest trust. Create trust for the following this domain only or both domains. We can establish or connect or, or establish the trust between both in both domains here. We'll do it the old-fashioned way and go to the other one so we'll do this domain only. Forest wide authentication or selective authentication. Selective authentication if you want specific users to be able to authenticate to specific machines. In this case we're going to pick forest wide authentication which allows any user within the new domain or the new forest to authenticate to the active directory in, the, in this forest. This is only authentication. It does not give authorization to uh, access resources. So what the trust essentially does is allow allows the administrator in this domain, in this forest, or in any domain in this forest to give users in the other forest access to resources. We need a trust password. It has to be a uh, complex password. So we'll do that. We'll use our wonderful password one, and I got it wrong. So capital P A one. Password one with a capital P, and they do have to match. Do not confirm the outgoing trust. Do not confirm the incoming trust. We can do that after we actually get it established. So this shows a trust both an outgoing domains trusted and domains that trust this domain. Go to the other uh, forest, the other domain controller. Trust 2 is the uh, forest or the d domain that we're in here so we'll properties same process in the trust, new trust. 
and in this case we're going to trust the trust 1.nd ndx uh, domain external trust again we'll do a forest trust we need to match the same things that we did in the other one we're going to have a two-way trust this domain only because we've already actually created it in the other domain and we're going to use forest wide authentication and we need to use the same password and spelling it right is always helpful and when we get through with this we're not going to confirm either one of them but it shows that we have a trust we can actually go into these trusts and go into the properties and we can validate the trust here one of the ways that we can do this or actually kind of see what a trust does for us is if we go to a resource properties security and then we want to add users if we go to the locations you notice that we can add users from trust 2 or from trust 1 so this is actually what the trust does for us we could go into the forest and trust 1 and add users from that area so a trust allows you to add users from a forest an external forest to your list of users what it essentially does is allows us to authenticate and gives the administrators of the uh, resources the ability to add those users to the uh, access control list so that they can access resources in this domain hope this has been useful and thank you for watching